Hello everyone from Schwann Buick GMC. My name is Marshall Becker. I am the internet manager here. Uh, I know normally I do these things as a live walk around, but to give it a little bit of a change and a little bit better video uh, quality, I'm going to pre-record this and post it. So uh, not a ton of editing, so forgive me if I stumble over some of my words a little bit. Uh, but we are going to give you guys a first look. Well, I shouldn't say first look. We had a uh, 2021 Envision that I did a live walk around with on, it was the black sport model. But this is our first Essence that does not have that sport model. So you can see it still does have the chrome accents up front uh, as well as the front grille versus the sport one, which was an all black look and a black wheel. This is going to be the uh, Essence wheel. So that brush or that uh, machine aluminum look uh, still has a really nice looking uh, uh, appearance to it as well as the other thing you will notice it is a colored tri shield up front we'll look at that in a little bit and then the other place you will really see the Buick uh, emblem is going to be in the center wheels there but other than that uh, it does not have a lot of Buick badging all over it a lot of that has to do with the new styling Buick is going with. Uh, I guess I don't have to sugarcoat it. In the past, Buick has kind of held a uh, stereotype of being a older person's vehicle, but they are really working on changing that uh, styling uh, to embrace the future here. And I have to say I absolutely love it. Coming from being a person who's driven Buicks and currently own one, I love the direction they're going with for the new styling here. Uh, it started with this styling in the Encore GX, and now they have updated the Envision to this. And I know right around the corner they do have plans to updating the uh, Enclave as well. Uh, but that's in a future video. But let's, for now, let's take a walk around of this so you can see there is that Buick tri shield in the center wheel cap as well as those aluminum uh, wheels. You have the body colored mirror with the chrome accents around the window and the little accents on the door frame there. Like our terrain, it does have a little bit of that uh, black two-tone plastic around the bottom, and that is for help with rust prevention, as well as for us wonderful country people who live in, on gravel roads. It does help uh, with the wear and tear there, so you don't have a lot of chipping and paint, things like that. It holds up really nicely. And... Another nice thing they did with these all-wheel drives, and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit later, but the Envision, up until 2020, was the only all-wheel drive model in the GM fleet that did not allow you to turn off all-wheel drive when the weather was nice or when you didn't need it to save on that fuel economy. With this new generation, they have added that clutch system, so now you do have several modes similar to our Cadillacs where you can turn on and off that all-wheel drive function uh, by switching from touring mode, which is going to be your front-wheel drive, uh, to the all-wheel drive or even the Sport, which gives actually a little bit more uh, power to the rear wheels there. The other thing this one does have on, let's see if I can get it to look at the window sticker, but it looks like it's just going to act for a mirror for the camera. This one does have the uh, Buick Driver Confidence Package, which that is going to add that front-facing camera, so that gives you like your uh, alert seats, your lane keep assist, a lot of those emergency braking features, and as well as a nice uh, rear vision backup camera here. Uh, but, like I said, the only things that really are going to tell you that it's a Buick are going to be the uh, tri-shield in the grill, the wheel caps, uh, and then this tri-shield right on the back here. Other than that, there's no Buick badging other than w telling you what it is. It's being an Envision. I really like these. Uh, if it was a Cadillac, it'd be called like low-density taillights, so really giving it that nice look. We'll pop this open here. And this is, looks like the they turned it off, so it, it was o only opening up to three-quarter of the way. But it is a programmable hatch here, so you anywhere in its range of movement, you can program that to uh, open. So if you have a shorter garage, or if you tend to be a vertical, uh, vertically challenged, you can change that uh, to be a little bit easier for you. You got your 12-volt plug here. Of course, your molded-in handles for grocery bags or different things along the line there. You will see there is a spare tire underneath. 
with a little bit extra storage around the side. Simply by tapping the button, she'll close down for us. Jumping inside, we can see it is a nice, uh, a lot of, being a Buick, it always has that nice touch to not a lot of hard plastics. You got your nice leather pretty much anywhere you're going to be touching. This one does not have the panoramic sunroof, but that definitely is an option if you'd like. But we can pan through here. I really like how they take uh, attention to the seats of this, the different contrast in leather. And then if you think these interior isn't nice enough, if if you think this interior isn't nice enough, we do have the Avenir that they have now introduced that trim level to the Envision. Uh, previously, it was just in our Enclave, but it does jump up that interior. It has a kind of a quilted look to it, uh, to the leather uh, stitched. Uh, very reminiscent to the platinum package in our uh, in our Cadillacs, uh, so it definitely is a great interior in that as well. I'm not going to push the brake, and we're just going to start it into auxiliary mode. But you will notice it does have a 10-inch display up here, so it is a lot larger than the past generation. We're going to go ahead and turn the volume down here. And they did take a lot of the stylings. I've heard a lot of people say it kind of looks like the new C8 Corvette where it has a lot of those uh, kind of branches and how the screen kind of tilts for you. So it took a lot of styling from that too. Once again, kind of sporty. Uh, up front here, you do have a lot of your uh, disable. So you can disable auto start stop, your hill descent control, your lane keep assist, uh, and then traction control as well as park sensors. The other thing you will probably notice your, there is no gear shifter here. It is now push button. And the nice thing about that is that there's a lot of safety to it. Plus, you don't have a giant knob in the middle of where you're moving or setting things to kind of maneuver around. So definitely helps clean up and give it a little bit more of a usable space here. Uh, where I talk about the safety, uh, it is default set where if you are not buckled, it will not let you put it into drive. You can disable that in the settings, but default, it does come with that on. So kind of help for or, you know teen drivers or things like that to help with the security and then here i briefly mentioned it before if we hit the mode button we're actually going to start it because it's giving me some battery saver warnings so we'll just do this real quick your mode button here which will allow you to we'll skip through that oh i guess it's not going to let me so let me quick buckle up and since it's still in demo mode And now that we're in uh, here, we can jump. If you notice, when I press the mode button over to the side, you have the touring, which is gonna be your front wheel drive, of course, all wheel drive, sport, and off road. So that's a nice feature added to these Envisions, as well as you will see heated steering wheel, you know, gap adjust, which that is gonna tell me uh, how much of, uh, how close you're following the pre person ahead of you, uh, as well as adaptive cruise control and a memory seats over to the side here where previously you had to go up to the premiums to get that. You now have that in the Essence trim level. And if we jump over here, we do have the, of course, navigation. You do have the user profile, so you can sync that across all of your Buicks or your GMCs, all your favorite radio stations, things like that. Uh, and then Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, of course, and I believe this one is wireless as well, as well as you do have the ability to download Alexa on here uh, and connect up to your smart devices at home. So if you're driving home, you can tell it to change the thermostat or open the garage door or whatever uh, nightly routine you'd like to do. As you can see, dual zone climate control, heated seats in the essence. If you want the cooled seats, you gotta jump up to the Avenir, but still a nice thing to have. 
But that is it for a brief overview and intro to this new 2021 Envision. Uh, I know they do have pretty nice leasing rates right now and with incentives. Well, since I don't know when you'll be viewing this video, I will just direct you to our website. But I will tell you that it is a pretty nicely priced vehicle. You get a lot of features and a lot of technology as well as a lot of luxury. Uh, it, it does not... Uh, it holds up to the previous generation of being the quietest, one of the quietest Buicks ever made. So I would suggest or strongly recommend you guys stop by, take one for a drive in person. Uh, if it is as cold as it is when I'm filming here, give us a call or jump on our website and schedule a test drive ahead of time. Uh, one of our sales staff will have it pulled right up front to you. If we know what time you're coming, we'll make sure it's remote started nice and warm so you don't have to wait for everything to warm up. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, or reach out to us. We're always here to help.